Hey folks, Engineer775. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about lighting. Um, over the last few years I've been collecting all sorts of lights. Um, when lights go on sale, whether they're at a hardware store or an auto parts store, I'll pick up a LED light setup. I, you know, just They're just everywhere. <laughs> so there's no lack of LED lighting available. Uh, emergency lights that you have um, lanterns and you know there's just all sorts of gizmos and everything from pillows to all sorts of things uh, so you can do lighting in a million different ways I'm not going to talk to you about um, kerosene lamps um, or flashlights particularly there's a lot of there's a lot of cheap stuff out there here's a here's a bat um, LED light and it's also a bat I don't think it would last long but anyway it's a Having a flashlight, having lights around is very important. You can also pick up the spike lights, uh, yard lights that have the little solar panels for recharging. These are great AA battery chargers, by the way. So, but for this video, I really wanted to focus on two two lights I've been using for probably eight months now. One being the Loftec work light. This is a real heavy duty work light, fully adjustable, that I use all the time. I just used it on a job, and. Um, and it's super bright LED, as you can tell, and it is uh, just handy. I used it at a, you know trying to get a job done and needing to work inside a pump house is very dark. This is just super small, handy, tough. Um, it's a great work light. Not only that, but it also has a detachable battery. I mean, you can use this battery for a variety of things, but it's got a USB port, so you can plug in your cell phone charger, and you can charge your cell phone phone just lit up because it's charging my phone. Um, I keep all these things, again, charged with solar power. I'm trying to use light to make light. And so again, as a prepper, you think ahead and make sure you have enough hours of charging on your battery packs to keep everything good. So that's the Loftec work light. Fantastic little light. And it's very versatile, very easy to charge, and very portable. I've used it a bunch and I've beat on it and haven't had any any issues with it. The other light I want to talk to you about is a cool little light called, you might have seen these, these are, uh, this is the Sunbell Light by Bright. Um, it is a, as, as you see, a rechargeable light. It uses a solar panel. So I'm going to detach this and show you a few things, which I think are really cool. It's got this spool where you can take and you got plenty of cord. So you can get this solar panel in the sun and then you plug it in to charge. It's very simple. So you can put this out in the sun. You can also use the light itself as kind of a solar mountain gizmo where you can actually set it like this. You can point this if you're out camping and you want to keep this in the sun. You can just set that up and keep it charging. So that's another neat little thing. So it does a lot of things. You also can take the the light out, set it up as a table light, and work on whatever you're working on. And this is, so it's very versatile. It also has a USB extension where you can charge your cell phone, and take the solar panel off of there, and now you just have a work light. So you can do a lot of different things. You can wrap it around your neck if you're working, and you can see what you're doing. So it's very, very cool, and it has three settings. On the lowest setting, which can do a lot, it will run about 100 hours, 100 plus hours, that LED, just this battery pack. And I think on full power, there's three settings, it will run about four and a half hours. And so very handy little light. I just love solar lights because you can do a lot with them. So you don't need to carry this belt. If you just want to have something, a light in your bug out bag, you can just take the solar panel, strap it to your bag, and do that. So you can wind this back up. And then this thing pops in. I use it as a reading lamp. It's an awesome reading lamp. You'll just keep your connectors covered. And then you can use it as, you can hang it up and use it as a light in a tent or what have you. So it's a very versatile, well thought out design. Love this light. Nice to have it when you don't have any light. Again, solar power. Uh, I will show this as kind of a, this is my solar bling. Um, it's a, just, just a little, I've been <laughs> using this, believe it or not, if I go out late at night to put wood on the stove, out my wood boiler, I've been using this, I carry this around there and just go put wood in the stove. 
it's great for kids. Um, it's just it's got a little solar panel on the back of it, so it can be put on a bug out bag. Now it might look kind of silly, but it's very useful when you don't have any lights. It's got a couple settings there for brightness. So the main thing I want to talk to you about was this solar bell, which is very versatile, and then the Loft Tech light. I'll put a couple links in the description of the video if you're interested in any of these. Um, I highly recommend them. They're very, very good lights, and I haven't been able to break them. Um, they've, they've performed as they should have. I um, really can't say anything bad about them. They've worked extremely well and have been very handy. So, you know, get in the habit of using some of these off-grid sustainable um, lighting solutions so that when the power does go out, you can, you can, you're ready. And, and you're like, no, this is nothing. I've been using this. So get in the habit of, of using your alternative energy solutions now. Don't wait till you have a crisis. And, you know, just continue to, to work on um, your preps, continue to lower your amount of energy that you need from the grid, and you'll be better off. This is Engineer 775, signing off.